Oh, finally. Wait. Zombies. Oh my god. Give me a sword. Why are there so many of them? I have... Uh, kill it! Oh! Oh no. No, I'm all the way in spawn. Oh, that villager's certainly dead. So to understand how we got here, we have to go back one week. When I actually started this brand new server, Collusion MC. So let's go through what I've accomplished in this week and how we got to this horrible situation where I've basically died, lost all my items, and there's a villager in a boat ready to get his face eaten by some zombies. Hello and welcome to the first episode of Collusion MC. Collusion MC is a community of about 25 to 30 Minecraft streamers from around the world. If you're familiar with the famous Hermitcraft server, then you kind of know what to expect. There's a shopping district, mega bases, with community collaboration and events. The server's been up for about four weeks already, and I was just invited to join. Being four weeks behind meant that there would be lots of catching up to do. First thing I did was set off looking for a place I could call home. Ideally, I would want to find a jungle biome. The reason for that is because this season I had an idea of what I'm looking to build. A mega base inspired by the Lego Ninjago movie. For those who don't know, outside of Minecraft, I'm also a huge fan of Lego. One of my favorite sets that ever been built was the Ninjago City set. It had some unique architecture, starting with some traditional Japanese styled buildings to modern and cyberpunk. I wanted to build my spin on that this season over the course of the year. So that's my plan, and right now, I'm on a boat. So at the start of day one, I was rowing around the ocean for about half an hour. During that time, I explored empty villages, gathered a few resources, and searched and searched for a jungle biome, but unfortunately I couldn't find it. I started to give up, so I went ahead and started building a house in a flames biome instead. found a nice spot with a natural cove and built a small shanty above a cave. I figured that my mind would be below the house and so I built a pretty simple starter shanty to kind of get things going. From there it was the early game grind. I dug down, started strip mining, gathered resources, tools would break, built new tools, found some diamonds, rinse and repeat. I then planted some crops and eventually an AFK fish farm. I headed over to the shopping district to pick up an elytra. Hmm, uh, that's incredibly expensive. Okay, so I headed back to the mine, mined up more diamonds. Then headed back to the shopping district, picked up a few things from the end ship, some enchanted books from the bookstore. Kind of wandered around, looked at everything. 
and then a few other bits. With my new elytra, I knew I would need lots of rockets. I had a good supply of paper already, but I needed some gunpowder. So I decided to go ahead and build a mob farm. Now that the mob farm was done, the next thing I had on my agenda was getting some villagers. I needed them for an iron farm and just for trading as well. I had scoped out a village quite far away, but there were some villagers there that hadn't been pillaged by the other players on the server. I got the villagers into minecarts, and then it was off to the races. However, I didn't anticipate the problems I would face sending the villagers through to the nether. I've never really moved villagers to the nether, I've always done it just in the overworld. And we ran into some issues. And that, of course, brings us back to the beginning. So I was running out of time. The server was about to reset for the night. My items were about to despawn, and one of my two villagers was certainly dead. But when I got back to my base, the zombies were gone, my items were all there, and the villager number two was still alive in his boat, completely unaware of the danger he was in. Ah. 
And that's all the time we have for right now. We have lots of work to do, lots of farms to build, lots of stuff to design. So I hope you join me again for the next episode. Safe travels, everyone.